What's up guys, it's your boy Damon, and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today, we're going to be talking about Klee. Now, I want to get into this ahead of time because I know a lot of you guys are curious as to whether or not you should or should not summon for us. I want to give you guys some numbers. I want to talk about some potential build strategies uh, because I've played a lot, like a lot, a lot with Klee, and she is a ton of fun. But again, make sure you guys do the trial. I'm on the Chinese server right now, counting down the time until I'm able to summon her on Global. <laughs> But until then, uh, we'll provide some information for you guys to give you a little bit more insight as to whether or not you should summon yours. Now, when Klee does go live, you guys will want to make sure you guys hit this logo, this little emblem right here. Uh, you guys will have the opportunity to test run. I recommend test running her first before you decide anything. This test run will score you a level 80 Klee. Basically, you can just test her out. It looks like they have her on the Favonius Codex, which is pretty accessible, uh, with the energy recharge of 41.9%, and the artifacts that they have her on is the Brave Set, which increases damage by 30% against enemies with more than 50% HP. It also is a raw attack percent bonus, which is a decent set that I would say, but I can't say that I would go out of my way to farm this set. If you guys are under Adventure Rank 40, I would just go with like Exiles for the Energy Recharge and or Instructors for the Elemental Mastery or mix up the two. Or if you guys are getting Wanderer's Troop by now, you guys can definitely go that route as well. When we get into her talents, her S1, just a basic attack that does AoE Pyro damage. That's right, AoE Pyro damage. Her basic attack is pretty nice. It's a little bit different than other mages because as you guys know the other mages kind of just shoot in the air but you have some explosion damage that hits multiple targets here with Klee. Now things get a little fun when we get into Jumpty Dumpty because when thrown Jumpty Dumpty bounces three times igniting and dealing AoE pyro damage with every bounce. On the third bounce however uh, the it actually releases like little mines and if these enemies hit the mines then they detonate which is pretty cool. Now the mines last for 15 seconds and the damage is 52.5% at level 8 of course. So your damage numbers won't be this high until a little bit later. Uh, but you have a lot of potential to combo with this. As you guys might have saw in the Klee video, you guys are able to chain this with Jean's like, wind gathering ability and certain wind gathering abilities to affect this as well. Now our ultimate is a lot of fun uh, because it summons like these laser flowers that come out and deal AoE pyro damage as you use them. It is a ton of fun and gives you a ton of opportunities to deal some crazy damage. Like Klee legit is a true like DPS damage still, but with that being said, uh, she is a little bit selfish, which you guys will see, but you can get around that by utilizing her constellations. Now, I can't freely recommend constellations, especially if you guys are free to play, so if you guys get lucky there, then that's a thing. But for those of you guys who are investing, trying to get multiple, and you really, really like Klee, I would say try to at least go for her constellation too, just so you can get the decreased enemy defense by 23%, because this is actually a big deal here. That's for whether you're comboing, whether you're soloing, whatever it is, like, constellation two is probably really all you need. Uh, once we get to constellation four, uh, this is adds a little bit more team utility because if you swap Klee out in the middle of her ult, she's going to deal AoE pyro damage for 555% of her attack. And then even more team utility, so then while you're under the effects of your ult, uh, your party will continuously regenerate energy. And then also, if you're pairing Klee with other fire heroes, let's say for the 25% attack bonus, uh, all party members will obtain a 10% pyro damage bonus. This could be really, really nice if, let's say, you're running a Diluc on, like, Crimson Witch or something like that. Um, that's something that can come into play there. In terms of weapons, I mean, there's a lot of different ways, I think, that you guys can build Klee overall. Just like if you guys are going for energy recharge for the old spam, then that's definitely a way if you're just trying to, you know, mas maximize that burst damage. And or if you guys are going for a max constellation Klee, and you guys are going for the combo, you can spam ult and then just swap out. And this is where I said like sets like Exile will come into play here with great utility. Otherwise, if you guys are above level 40, you guys can definitely go with Crimson Witch to maximize damage. You guys can go with pretty much any set that is going to increase her damage. In terms of weapons, uh, the Favonius Codex is a safe investment if you guys happen to have this book just due to the energy recharge that's going to allow you to get her ultimate back faster, which in turn will maximize your DPS. Now, if you guys don't have the Favonius Codex and you guys are wondering, well, what craftable or what other weapon might I be able to use, I'm going to give you guys some scenarios that you guys could definitely use with Klee. So for those of you guys who have Sacrificial Fragments, uh, this can actually be really, really good in terms of maximizing her E. Giving her an extra E charge can be huge, as you guys can see here, which means more mines on the field, more chain damage, so on and so forth. Pair this with a set like the Gambler set, which also gives you a chance to reset your cooldown 
as you kill an enemy, this can be crazy for spamming E and creating an ultimate DPS combo. Now, if you're looking specifically at craftables, then you can go with something like Map of Mare. Uh, but I only recommend Map of Mare for the craftable if you guys are using Klee as a combo finisher. Because she deals AoE pyro damage on her attacks, you'll want to make sure that, again, she has enough elemental mastery to capitalize on the bonus damage that you'll hit from the elemental reactions, and this would make Map of Mare a nice, nice addition to her kit, again, if you guys are finishing combos. So, for instance, if you Vinted first, then you went with Klee, or if you utilize a lightning hero like Lisa with her ult or Kaching, and then you chain with the Klee, this is definitely something that you guys can look at. Again, Klee, combo finisher. After that, you guys can look at books like Witsith, if you guys happen to have Witsith for the 30% extra crit damage. And or, of course, if you guys are pulling on the weapon banner or happen to have gotten lucky and gotten the 5-star weapon, Lost Prayer, uh, for the increased crit rate, this, of course, can definitely be a strong weapon for her as well. Only if you intend on utilizing her for longer periods of time in the battlefield. Because of the fact that Lost Prayer requires you to be there for in a certain amount of time so you can get the max elemental bonus damage stacks, again, that'll be a situation where you're using Klee as a primary DPS. And if that is not the case, then the other weapons might be a better option for you. Klee can pretty much work on any type of weapon and or gear combo. It's ultimately going to be up to you how you want Klee to work in your team. In terms of ideal stats, I'd be looking for like an attack percent build. Fortunately, I'm, un I'm unable to look at their artifacts here on the trial version, but I'd go with like an attack percent, attack percent pyro bonus damage. Most likely, pyro bonus damage being in her cut position, attack percent being in the helmet, and of course the hourglass. Uh, you definitely could go with a crit build as well. If you guys decide to go with like Crimson Witch, let's say if you guys went with like an attack percent crit damage, attack percent build, especially if you guys are using Lost Prayer, that increases crit rate. That's definitely a route that you guys can go as well. Uh, but like I said, there's a ton of different ways, uh, but ideally what you're looking to do with her is to maximize her crit rate, crit damage, attack power, pyro bonus damage, and or energy recharge. And if you guys are looking to pair or combo, then of course, elemental mastery. Again, guys, please, 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 please make sure that you test out Klee before uh, you guys decide to summon for her. Again, she is awesome. You can use her for mining. She's really, really strong against any type of shields or geo, and she has some open world utility and is great for adventuring. Overall, just a very, very fun hero to play. If you guys got any other questions, comments, concerns about this particular hero, uh, let me know in the comment box. I really just wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about this hero because I played her a lot um, in a previous test version, and I'm super duper hyped that she's finally, finally here. So, with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.